How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's install video where we are going to be installing the Metal Cloak EVAP canister relocation bracket. So if you have a JK and you've done any wheeling then you realize that the EVAP canister kind of hangs down into an empty space. It's a hang up point for a lot of uh, obstacles. You beat it on rocks, rip it off and it's a very expensive install. Well the Metal Cloak EVAP canister relocation bracket will actually mount that up and over the axle protecting it from any hang up or rocks that you will encounter on the trail. So with that being said, you will need one special drill bit. It's a 1732nd uh, drill bit. They are very hard to find, so I would recommend when ordering this, go ahead and order the drill bit from the Metal Cloak site. It just makes things a whole lot easier. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the install. The first step of this install process is to locate the evap canister that's located towards the rear by the drive line. Now you can see that it does hang down into this space and it will get hit on rocks and if you notice it looks like I've already hit a few here so we're going to go ahead and remove that. There are two bolts up front and one bolt in the rear and those are 16 millimeters so we're going to go ahead and take those out now. As you can see, there are three hoses and one power connector that you will have to disconnect before you're able to remove the EVAP canister. Go ahead and reach in, pinch the tab. Or get some needle nose pliers. push the tab and pull that electrical connector off. Okay, so these connectors are actually pain in the ass to get off. Um, go ahead and get a small screwdriver flathead and for this rubber piece, you can go ahead and walk it off. At least get it started, pull it off. Okay, so these clips are not easy to get off. Uh, there's a tab here that you are gonna have to push and they do not move very easily. So these tabs do not wanna come off easily. Um, they're supposed to be able to be pushed. Um, sometimes they get stuck um, and yeah, it's a struggle. Especially if you've taken it off road and you've done any wheeling, it's gonna be a struggle. So just be patient, take your time. They will come off, you just gotta work for it. Now that we have the EVAP canister disconnected and out of the way, we're gonna use the mount in order to mark the holes where we need to drill. Now this is on the rear passenger side and you will see that there is a cutout right here. That is where you're gonna mount your new EVAP canister. Take a center punch and punch it a few times. Now you do start off small and work your way up. That is the normal rule of uh, thumb when you are drilling through metal. Make sure you do wear safety glasses. There will be metal chunks falling down on your face while you're underneath here. So it is important wear safety glasses. You don't want to get metal shards in your eyes. Okay, now that you have the holes drilled for the nut certs, we're gonna go ahead and start working and putting the nut certs in. In order to install the rivet nuts, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter and a 17 millimeter socket. And you're gonna tighten them down and you will feel it start bottoming out and once you have it good and tight, you will fill it, you will fill the rivet nut bottom out and that's when you know you're done. And there you go, you have one rivet nut installed and you will need to install one more. So now that we have the EVAP canister removed from the Jeep, we've got the nut certs into the holes and everything. It's time to put the EVAP canister onto the mounting bracket. Now the first thing that you're gonna do is put the rubber stopper um, onto it and since it is mounting on the Jeep like this, 
you want to put the rubber stopper towards the top that way that there's no vibration against the tub of the Jeep now if you have a 2012 or later this white canister part will need to be rotated 180 degrees there is a little tab here that locks it in place so make sure you don't break that off just use a little flathead and rotate it 180 degrees until the power connector is on the outside once you've rotated the white cap you will see that metal cloak has two holes drilled into the back of the canister that line up with these two plastic pieces. You're gonna slide it in there. And make sure you get a good seat. And you will be using one of the bolts that you took off of the factory uh, evap canister. It is the 13 millimeter that held the canister onto the bracket. And there is a hole here. Slide it in and secure it to the bracket. So in order to install the evap canister, we're just gonna slide it up over in between here line up the holes that we drilled and insert and nut certs now keep in mind that these bolts are stainless and metal cloak did provide a small tube of anti-seize so go ahead and use some of that and with a 14 millimeter socket go ahead and tighten it down in order to reroute the power cable and the hoses we will need to cut some of these zip ties after removing the zip ties that hold it in place, we're gonna reroute it in order to get it close to the new location. Once we have everything rerouted, we're just gonna start reconnecting everything. So the kit does come with a few extra lengths of hose and you may have to use it just like I did. There's a short piece and a longer piece for the big part. Uh, it was not really reaching this part, so I had to extend it. As you can see, the EVAP canister is now completely up and out of the way. Uh, it, if you are able to hit this thing, you are seriously doing some crazy off-roading. Now the axle will protect it, um, so yeah, no longer have to worry about the EVAP canister. Okay, so there you have it. Overall, the install, it wasn't too terribly difficult from start to finish, maybe about an hour's worth of time. Now, I will say the hardest part of this install was disconnecting the hoses and clips from the EVAP canister. Once you're past that, everything about this install is fairly simple and you can do it in your driveway as always if you enjoy this video please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner until then hope to see y'all on the trail